to Chris. Today, in 2017, uh, we're going to start with a holiday haul. No, not holiday haul. Haul! Holiday haul. Holiday haul. Haul. It's basically more of an update this time. I thought we'd start with the easiest of the bunch. I haven't watched it yet, but the Neon Demon. Nicholas Windham Reckon's newest film, ne Neon Demon. Neon Demon? The Doomed Got Me, Children of Men for Christmas. Still look, haven't opened it yet, but beautiful film, Alfonso Cuarón. No Country for Old Men on Blu-ray. And yes, I already do have it on Blu-ray, but not this edition. The slipcover, both inside of the slipcover. A Blu-ray update of Band of Brothers, the Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks production. Uh, moving on. Damn. Bought two more games for the Wii U. New Super Mario Bros. U. Uh, Nintendo Land, because it's actually a decent game. So, alright. Yeah, I have, I have the Wii U. And some games for the PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4 is currently my favourite gaming system. The Battleborn, really cheap, I think it's delivered about 3 99 Uncharted 4, got that for my birthday of the dude. 7 Days to Die, Metal Gear Solid 5, the definitive edition which comes with Ground Zeroes and Metal Gear Solid 5, the actual game. Overcooked, there's a bit of repair there, but it's good. Prison Architect, and of course, the latest Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, comes with, of course, Modern Warfare Remastered. Good game. I actually really like this one. I know a lot of Call of Duty haters out there. Yeah, what are you going to do? I like Call of Duty. Thrive Club. Do you know why I'm getting that? PlayStation VR Worlds? Until Dawn and Rush of Blood? Battle Zone? Eagle Flight? In fact, maybe a turbo? I wonder what that could mean. <gasps> yes! I got PlayStation VR. Don't know if I've actually stated this because I got it back in October, but PSVR. PSVR, I have also got new controllers. Fantastic. Absolutely love this thing. Probably for the experience alone, I'd give it like a solid 9 out of 10, I'd say love VR and I just wish they'd actually release some more games for it. I know Resident Evil 7 just came out for it so might be spending a bit more money on that. Oh speaking of new gaming experiences I've got the PlayStation Vita. How beautiful is this thing? It's not the slim version but I personally prefer the fatty Great little console, got some great games on it. Probably my favourite handheld console actually. And speaking of handheld consoles, I also got the PSP. I mean, why not? I actually did have a PSP when I was younger. Don't know what happened to it. Just disappeared. Uh, I probably did sell it. But I don't remember. So I bought another one. Uh, oh, actually it doesn't end there either. I got a 3DS! And guess what, I don't have any 3DS games. You know why? Because they cost like £30 or over. Each. I got a 3DS. Pretty cheap. Uh, actually, all three of these consoles were pretty cheap. Apart from... Apart from this little... That is a Sony PlayStation Vita memory card. 16 gigabyte. These things go for way too much money on the internet, way too much. Some of them, especially the 32 gigabyte or overall, I think Japan has a 64 gigabyte memory card, but they're tiny. 34 gigabyte and 64 gigabyte can go to a hundred pounds. Uh, yeah, so with PlayStation Vita, PlayStation Portable, I of course got some games. Little Big Planet and Need for Speed Most Wanted, great game. Brilliant. Just brilliant. And of course, Little Big Planet. I've only played the first one on the PS3. 
other than this, and I think this might be. I think I might prefer this one actually. Nice little cases as well. I mean, when you compare them to PS4, they are happy. Little cute, little cute games. When I put my P PSP on eBay, they had a bundle with a few games. These games, to be precise, and UMD, which came with Scooby Doo the Movie of All Movies, Spider Man 2, and one of my favourites, Casino Royale, Smackdown vs. Raw 2006, Grand Prix, F1, The Godfather. That's the game, Godfather for the PSP, not the UMD film, Gangs of London, and finally, Sorkum, or Sorkum, US Navy Seals, Fireteam Bravo 2. I then went and got The Sims 2, because when I did originally have a PSP before I just magically disappeared, I had The Sims 2, which was my first game for it, and I love it. Uh, oh yeah, because I, did, I didn't buy any 3DS games, because you know why. Because they cost like £30 or over, each. Uh, so I've just been boring, shopping DS games. I love me a bit of Super Mario. Now on to toys! Collectibles. Collectibles. We have quite a lot. Jim! Jim Erskine. What? Fuck you! What? <laughs> Jetta. Jim. Jim! Jim. <laughs> Great. Black Series 360. Hey dude, got me that. I also have Princess Leia. Just carrying the E11. Blaster, Stormtrooper Blaster, Captain Plasma. I'm giving her a chance. That's like insane. And finally, on Black Series figures, Django Fett. I like Django Fett. A lot of people always turn to Boba Fett, and I do love Boba Fett. Django Fett, he's got a bit more character, I think he does a lot more in the film. He's, he's very cool as well, I'd say. Uh, moving on, got myself a Rick. He's one of my favourite TV characters. Just so cool. I even pose him how I re remember him, but I kind of aimed it on like <laughs> Not actually aiming at people, but uh, it's, even though he's meant to be, yeah, so cool, he's so cool. But to go with him, I also have the RV Walker from season 2, I think it is, the beginning of season 2. Governor, one of my favourite TV villains, love the Governor. Haven't unboxed him yet, it went to the wrong house for a while, went back to my old house, so I had to wait a while to get hold of him. Along with Walking Dead stuff, Compendium 1 of Walking Dead graphic novels, which contains issues 1 through to 48. It's interesting to see the differences they did with the show. Uh, moving away from Walking Dead. The Terminator. The dude got me it for Christmas. An incredible likeness, actually. Really good for a, a no. I'm not going to try and do an impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger because obviously I can't do it. I'll be back. One of the newest Lego Star Wars sets. Luke's Speeder from A New Hope of Star Wars, 1977. This really simple build. Uh, with the detachable. <laughs> I actually forgot to bring my little Lego set, so I'll save that for the end of the video. You know, the other Lego. <laughs> the other one I got. I don't know what you've already saw. But you did it wrong, Sam. <laughs> I think got me a dinosaur for you, Jack. A bit of Jenny. Uh, so, pop vigor. <laughs> what? Vigor. <laughs> vigor. What will you do when they break you? What will you do when they find you? What will you be? Not in film. Sherlock from Sherlock. Sherlock Holmes. The dude also bought me Harry Potter from the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter. This one is snapped up. Sorry to have to tell you, dude, this way, but it broke in the transit from home to here. Not my fault, I didn't do it. 
Now I just have Harry doing this. No, he's not actually doing that, is he? He's got no mouth, so. Uh, I do actually have the piece, so I need to super glue it on. I found it in my room just lying about. Such a shame, it's such a good pop figure, as most pop figures are, but not all of them. Next up, I've been buying myself a lot of the Force Awakens line 3.75 inch action figures. I like these in the box because they are cool to display. I actually do display them as well. I've got, at the moment, I've got a lot of them hanging on my wall, and my camera's gonna die. No. Uh, other than that, I bought Darth Vader, the Rogue One set, 3.75 inch line, the newest line. Really nice head in box. It's got Unkar Plut, played by Simon Pegg. Don't know if you knew that, but you probably did. I don't know, I, I, I didn't actually know there was a figure of him. I mean, obviously there is a few, because Star Wars does figures of everybody, but I was, I, I was actually quite surprised to see him in the shop. Reduced as well, obviously, like the rest of them. And other than him, I have Ray. I have my first Ray 3.75 inch figure. Because I have the Black Series and Elite Series, Elite Series Ray in her traditional getup gear. But today we got the Resistance Outfit Ray. Very happy to own that. I would like to get the traditional outfit Ray as well, because that's my favourite Ray. Iconic Ray, in my opinion. Uh, that's it for 3.75 inch figures. Another addition to my Steelbook collection is the PlayStation 20th Anniversary Sony PS1 Classic Steelbook. Pretty cool, I got it off eBay because I actually saw this in the shop once but you had to pay for a new PS Plus subscription and I already had one. I didn't really see the point so I just bought it for Steelbook alone. Other than a little knockoff cheap gaming system that I once had, Sony PlayStation was the first video game console I ever had. I think that's it. No, the surprise. And that is... No, that's not the surprise. That's just some rubbish Kathleen got me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll go get him. <laughs> he landed safely. Cats land on the feet, remember? Do you want a cat? He could be a cat. No, the real surprise is... ATST Walker, Lego. Return it with the little motor system here. It's so cool. Always wanted a Lego ATST Walker. <laughs> Didn't come with any of the minifigures, that's why I got them pretty cheap. Because the seller obviously just wanted the minifigures and not the actual set. Of course, I do want an ATST Walker or an ATAT Walker. They can cost quite a lot. <laughs> so cool. I don't know I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I don't have a script or anything. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Chris. So I'd do the intro again because I got a bit more. <laughs> you were starting at the beginning. No, no, because no, I got more into it as I went along in the video. So oh, okay. I decided to do it again because it all was really like. You were like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do the other video. I can't be bothered with it. Oh. Shh, we can't tell anyone.